Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this uh, next bit uh, Robin uh, which is a unique phone and they say that this is a phone with unlimited uh, storage but I think so that marketing mantra is false because it has cloud storage but that's restricted to 100 gigabytes so let's open this up and this is a review unit and regarding the pricing and availability this product is sold in India via Flipkart and it's priced at 20,000 rupees I'll have the link for Flipkart in the show notes for your reference so let's just open this up and the packaging is very different and it says hey rebel meet the robin and uh, again it says that it does not run out of space ever because of cloud storage uh, but uh, the restriction is that it's 100 gigabytes of cloud storage it's not truly really unlimited so that's the thing about this device and it does this cloud storage uh, stuff uh, in the background so uh, the thing is that you won't come to know about it and it comes with the USB-C type port but sadly the charger is not included in the box as you can see we just have the phone itself and the USB-C type uh, cable so charger is something that is not there and it also has a fingerprint scanner on the power button like the Xperia Z5 if I recall so let's just take this out uh, so this is the handset itself and this is not a physical button this is actually a speaker it has uh, front firing speakers so stereo speakers and uh, this is the handset and it says next now and this is the uh, USB-C type cable but uh, again you have to use your own USB charger for the same it's flat type and this is the pen to put your sim card so let me keep these things to the side so this is the handset itself and again it's really different in terms of the styling it's sort of looking retro i would say uh, with the these colors and stuff it's really unique and we also have uh, four led lights so when it's doing that cloud syncing uh, these will glow and it just says next bit over here uh, so minimalistic branding i have to say let me give you a physical overview first and then we'll boot up the device on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack secondary noise cancellation microphone uh, this is the power or off button which also embeds the uh, fingerprint scanner and here you'll add your uh, sim card it does not support the micro sd cards on the bottom uh, we have the main microphone and also we have this led light uh, if you connect uh, the fast charger it supports qualcomm quick charging too uh, this light actually glows and this is the usb c type port and these are the volume rocker so again in terms of styling it's really different i would say and it supports a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with dual tone led flash we just have this cloud logo and these four led lights when it's doing the cloud syncing these will uh, glow and uh, it has that the front firing speakers and the front facing camera is supposed to be a 5 megapixel uh, shooter so let me just quickly just uh, boot this device and in the meantime let me give you a specs overview this uh, next bit robin is powered by the snapdragon 808 chipset which is a six core chipset it comes with three gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage 100 gigabytes of cloud storage is also included it sports a 5.2 inch 1080p screen it also has a fingerprint scanner the battery is a 2680 milliamp hour battery and it also has nfc support so this is the uh, first boot of this device uh, and uh, it just gives us this uh, logo and it's a little bit different uh, it's I would say this is close to stock Android but they are using a different skin and uh, again the cloud storage is supposed to work in the background so this is what you get so again as you can see not a lot of uh, bloatware these are the Google apps that we have uh, Play Store and stuff and these are the uh, basic apps that we have and again as I told you it's a different skin uh, and we don't even have an app tray but initial impressions I have to say uh, it's smooth uh, running on the Snapdragon 808 and again regarding the cloud storage uh, right now I don't have a lot of apps installed because we have just set up the device so if you have a lot of apps and uh, you're running out of the internal storage that is 32 gigabytes of internal storage uh, the apps uh, will uh, move automatically to the cloud storage you don't have to do anything about it it auto detects which are the apps that you are not using the most frequently or the pictures and will auto archive them to the cloud and uh, the icon for example let's say uh, this app has been uh, 
uh, what do you say archive this will become gray so if you want to use it you just tap in and it downloads the app i don't i don't know how feasible that would be in india because we don't have unlimited mobile data and stuff like that so yes the cloud storage uh, stuff is interesting but again uh, if you are on the go and let's say your uh, app is archived when you click it will use your mobile data so you have to be aware of that uh, because we don't get unlimited data here in india with most uh, mobile providers so this is what we have so this is very close to stock android as you can see if you go to about the device good thing is that it's running on android marshmallow that is 6.0.1 out of the box so that's what you get and again the buttons are virtual this is back home and this is for the multitasking as you can see so let's just go back and look at the storage uh, and it does have nfc and the storage tab is known as smart storage if you click on that as you can see the local storage that we currently have is 24.9 gigabyte uh, but if you want that uh, what do you say cloud storage you have to sign up with the uh, next bit robin account you just can hit this and you can create your account so right now uh, we are just using the uh, default storage that is on the device and out of the 32 gigabytes we have 24.6 gigabytes of space left again uh, do note that we don't have any micro sd card uh, with this device so they expect that you use the cloud storage if you are running out of the internal storage so that's the big thing about this device um, and again it looks a little bit uh, retro the styling is very different from other devices uh, it's very rectangular in nature many of the new devices are coming with the rounded back curved uh, stuff but this is totally flat so again some of you might like this retro design but you have to be aware of that let's also quickly look at the camera the camera is supposed to be a 13 megapixel shooter and again uh, they have skinned the camera interface so let's look at it so this is the camera interface uh, looks very spartan as you can see we have the top to focus let's do that and uh, the shutter lag is not that much as you can see i can just up and uh, take the picture and let's go to the settings so back uh, at 13 megapixel it's in 4 by 3 ratio and uh, you can again go down to uh, other uh, screen resolutions as you can see and in terms of video it does support 4k video so that is nice to know uh, so it's nice actually regarding the pricing uh, uh, they have priced it really well in india because in us uh, this one is priced at 400 us dollars so that means it's above 25000 rupees in us but in india uh, they have priced it at 20000 rupees so that's interesting let's look at some of the pics that we have just shot so here are some more sample shots that i took just now to give you an idea about the camera now these pictures were shot in semi indoor conditions and I feel it does a decent job uh, in very low lighting yeah it struggles but still better than the Ybex 3 in my opinion. And before I end this video let's also quickly look at this fingerprint scanner it's sort of recessed as you can see and if you just place your finger it does not unlock you have to actually press that button and uh, it works actually really well as you can see the moment you press it unlocks so the fingerprint scanner uh, seems to be actually really good on this uh, device so that's a nice thing so it looks like an interesting handset but one thing i'm worried about it is that it has just a 2680 milliamp hour battery so i'm not very sure how would uh, be the battery life on this next pet robin so what do you think about this next pet robin and its unique cloud storage uh, features will it work in india i love to know your thoughts about the same so that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this next bit robin again if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments below and i'll try to include them in my review thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video